here's a new thread in Frank Forum, which I think is going to end up proving to be pretty useful. But it's engendered by a kind of silly debate. Somebody sent me this video, and under the allowance of the video owner, as well as YouTube, I'm allowed to embed this video, or I wouldn't be able to show this to you on screen. It's an embed command. The video owner allows the embedding, so this is totally within all probable, all law. Okay, so using this video embedded, which you can watch embedded because the user and YouTube allow it, you can decide yourself whether or not the arguments in this video claiming that there is no such thing as an angelic appeal trial are even worth listening to. So that's why I'm posting this video to you now, to let you know there's this thread, because most of you know me for 15 years. There's this thread now in Frank Forum called Angelic Appeal Trial. It's in the Eschatology Forum. See, Eschatology Forum, because that's really the heart of it. The Angelic Appeal Trial is covered in the Bible beginning in Genesis 1 2. I've been documenting that trial now since the year 2000 in the Bible. The last couple of years, the focus of the documentation on this same subject is on how the meter in the Bible, beginning in Genesis 1, tells you all of this information and it gives you an, a year by year countdown to Messiah. That's what the meter does. All of that is subset, subtopic, underneath the header topic of the angelic appeal trial. Now, I've been documenting this for 15 years. This poor guy, he doesn't even know the basics of law. Okay? And you'll hear that when you hear him talk. And you'll see that when you hear him write in the comments. I made some comments to him. He made some comments back. He deleted some of my comments. And I recorded all of my comments, except for the last three, because my video recorder went out. This was about 20 minutes ago. But substantially, all of my comments I recorded. And the ones he deleted, I did not record. But I know what they were. And so does he. Point is, here's the topic where you can put in your two cents about what you think this is. Because what I'm learning from God more and more every day is, it's not about being right. It's about learning the material. It's not about doing works. It's about doing work. Well, how do you do word? That was what James was talking about in James 1 and 2. You have to do the word. How do you do a word? You believe it. How do you do a word? You try to live it. So what does that mean? Learning and living on Bible. So are you right in your position today? Probably not. Am I? Probably not. But how are you going to get better at it if you don't practice this? Like piano or ballet or basketball or name your favorite hobby here. You have to practice scripture. How do you practice it? By, re by learning what it is, by figuring out what it means, by testing your understanding, and then try to live it out in your life. And you'll screw up all the time. But are you trying? Are you using 1 John 1 9? Are you talking to God? Are you sitting under your right teacher? That's God's system. So, is this guy right in what he says? A couple of his comments ring true. But they don't have anything to do with theme. So he is fixated on theme. You don't have to be. I don't have to be. His fixation, however, gives us the opportunity to create a thread and discussion about, well, is there such a thing as an angelic appeal trial? If so, what scripture is on it? And yeah, did theme talk about it? Yeah, that's what he's famous for. Him and about 700 pastors he trained. Okay, so here's your thread. Angelic appeal trial, with or without any kind of issue about theme. 
And if you want to make an issue of him, well, he spent 40 years teaching it. I got everything he ever said about it, pretty much. I mean, I might be missing one or two tapes. I have to go back and check my inventory. But that's not really the issue. He's one of many now. Is the angelic appeal trial valid? And as a subset, do you want to listen to what this guy says? Maybe yes, maybe no. Like I said, you know, 98% of what he says is it's all confused. He doesn't understand law, much less theme. But maybe listening to this guy will help you brainstorm what is the important thing. What about this doctrine? Is it really in the Bible? I maintain to you, oh yeah, starts in Genesis 1-2. That's why the Bible was written, is to explain this trial. The whole Bible's about it, all of it from Genesis to the last word in Revelation. And so I started my Lord Re Satan series on it. That's what my whole series is about. I mean, still I'm writing it, it's 15 years in, because I started it in the year 2000. It took me six years just to do the first draft, which is up in, in you know, you can read it on the internet if you're really a glutton for punishment. That's where you can start. But you don't have to read what I say. Go to God. Say to God, ooh, God, is there such a thing as an angelic appeal trial? Does it really begin in Genesis? Ask him. That's what I did. So you can too. And if you want to listen to this guy, well, here you go. If you want to write in this thread, here you go. See? And you get smileys. But you got to join this one. The Bible forums, you got to join. But you can use a fake name and a fake email. Make up some name that nobody knows, even on the internet, who you are. That's fine. I don't care. I'm not interested in who you are. No offense. I'm interested in what you say. And if you really cared about God, you'd only be interested in content, too. Personal is second to principle. Principle is where God throws himself down. Psalm 138 to 2, he puts the word, the truth, above his own name. That's what we should do. So, here you go.